Who do you think are the Cy Young candidates right now in each? Who would you mean the Cy Young in the American League and the National League right now? Yeah, the American League's really tough. Um, you know, there's there's guys being shut down. There's guys that having really good categories, not maybe universally, but Jay Happ's having an unbelievable uh, campaign for the Toronto Blue Jays where they they desperately needed it. Um, Zach Britton's going to be in the conversation. I just want for the record, so I'm not biased. Mm -hmm. I've said this throughout my time. I don't think a pitcher should win the MVP, although they have. And I don't think a pitcher, sh a, a reliever, should win the Cy Young. Why is now, that? Done both. Why? Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. Having done both and having experienced you know success in both, there's individual awards for each category. Now, I know in a rare case, MVP should go to an everyday player. I would make an argument that a reliever can get more of an MVP award than he can a Cy Young. The Cy Young has always gone to a starting pitching. It's never been tied to the team's success. It goes to the pitcher who's had the best year, period. That's what the MVP used to be, but now it somehow has gotten morphed into the, the success of the team. And for the relievers, I got the Royal Aids Relief Award. Um, I know that you know there's been instances, instances like Willie Hernandez when my Tigers growing up mm -hmm. and won both, and Dennis Eckersley and others have, and Kershaw won the MVP and best pitcher in the planet. I get it. I'm just saying my my opinion is I don't think year in and year out that should be part of the pro, uh, part of the process. It's hard. Unless everyday players have not had that unbelievable years, it's hard for a pitcher to supplant an everyday guy that's out there every single time. So who would be your American League Cy Young Award winner then this year? Um, right now, I did this about four days ago for the network, and Kluber was actually the favorite. Now, that changes every day. I have this simple, unscientific method that has traced back to the last 15, 16 years of the winners. I have this philosophy that if you take the six – um, categories, and you rank all the guys in contention with the Cy Young, only them, the lowest number should win. So if they're first, second, first, third, first, and all those categories, the lowest number should put them, because that's dominating the baseball season. And that is valuing every category individually the same. I know Sabermetrics does it a whole different way, and they, they've come up with different categories to quantify you know they, they don't like traditional they don't like wins they don't like certain categories well i seem to do and i would have kluber that was four days ago i haven't looked at it lately but that's who i had um you know sale was in the mix there's there's constant right now it's so even that anyone can win it in the next five uh five five starts or so so with uh, the national league jake arietta just won his nl leading 16 16th decision uh, game last night he's got 16 w's now is he your nl cy young award winner right he now? would Let's take see. over bumgarner i had bumgarner number, number one uh, arietta was two uh three what did i have um I know Lester was fourth or fifth. He's climbing. Here's the interesting thing. Watching this race in particular because Kershaw has been on the DL, Kershaw would have won it. Um, watching this particular race is interesting because it's going to come down to um, maybe a couple unfair scenarios, meaning the Cubs are competing for two different awards, MVP mm -hmm. and their position players, and Cy Young with the majority of their pitchers, although Colorado hurt a couple of their chances. So Arietta and Lester will be given – the opportunity to compete for the Cy Young, let's say, but they're going to have this thing wrapped up. They're going to rest them. It's going to hurt their chances. So somebody else can come in like a Bumgarner, Cueto, um, you know, those guys. It was Strasburg's, unfortunately, injury and a couple blow-up games hurt him. So you've got some guys, a lot of guys in the mix uh, that, that are going to compete for this. It's going to be interesting to watch how Joe Madden, I asked him that question how are you going to handle it? He goes, oh, boy, we'll see. The playoffs, <laughs> the playoffs are, are what they, they want to get to the World Series. Yeah, I know. I mean, they got their 80th win last night, their first to 80 wins. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.